This other Christmas memory I have that just really, really sticks in my mind, one of those things I always think about when I think of Christmas morning, uh, would have been probably Christmas of, it had to have been 86 or 87. It was late 80s for sure. Um, this particular Christmas, we weren't at my house. We actually were at my grandmother's house. We went to visit them for the entire Christmas weekend and uh, we did something that we don't normally do and we actually stayed there on Christmas Eve, which means Christmas morning was gonna happen at my grandma's house. And I do remember specifically being a little worried that Santa wasn't gonna find us. I remember my parents reassuring me that Santa knows where you are, don't worry, Santa's gonna come here and bring you your presents. And it was one of those things I was just a little worried about, but you know, that's like a typical thing. What kid wouldn't be worried that Santa may not find you if you're not in your usual bed? Um, but it was, it was really cool because I've always loved my grandma's house. And one thing that my grandma had that I didn't in my house growing up was she had stairs because it was a two-story home and her Christmas tree this year was downstairs. So I remember very vividly still waking up on Christmas morning and actually getting to walk down the stairs and seeing the Christmas tree as I'm walking downstairs with all the presents under it. It's just one of those amazing like one of those things you would see in a movie, right? A Christmas movie. That's that's how the memory plays in my head, for sure. So we get up on Christmas morning, we get to go down those stairs. You see that tree, and it's just all the presents have exploded underneath the tree. It was amazing. Santa had not forgotten us. It was very exciting. But this is the part I remember of that Christmas the most. All of the presents under the tree, standing on top of the boxes, were Kenner's real Ghostbusters action figures, the four main Ghostbusters. And they were all standing on the boxes and they all had their proton packs strapped to their backs and all of them were busting their little companion ghosts that come packaged with them. There's something strange in the neighborhood. So who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. Have no fear. Venky, Steph, and Spangler are here. So are these ghosts. They've got Ectoplasm. We've been goofed. Now what? Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Let's show this pile of dessert who's boss. Activating Chrono Blaster. We ain't afraid of no ghosts. Peter Venkman, Ectoplasm, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, and other figures each sold separately. Ghostbusters, new from Kenner. It was amazing. So it was one of those times where, where Santa delivered me action figures outside of the packaging, which happens sometimes. But you know, it really created an awesome memory for me because you know, this was late 80s, I was a little kid. But that memory, that vision is still in my head. Seeing the Ghostbusters standing on presents under the Christmas tree, blasting ghosts. I wish I had some actual photos of that setup, but of course, pictures don't get taken of that before you start tearing into the presents. I have a few pictures where you can see other Ghostbusters toys laying on the floor that year from my grandma's house. I think I also got the ghost trap and some other stuff. Um, but it's amazing, and I was way into the Kenner Ghostbusters toy line for many years after that. I love the cartoon series, and it's really cool because it's like my very first memory of the real Ghostbusters goes all the way back to that Christmas morning when they were busting ghosts under the Christmas tree.